My name is Naomi Dempsey and I'm a breast medical oncologist at the Miami Cancer Institute in Plantation, Florida. So in regards to the applications of CT DNA, circulating tumor DNA in breast cancer, really it's a set, an exciting time and there are a lot of different potential applications for this technology. I think the most widely accepted use is in doing liquid biopsies in the metastatic setting to look for potential targeted options. In the past, we uh, looked on with a little bit of envy at some of our other colleagues in other areas of oncology who had so many targeted therapy options, but now we're entering an era in breast cancer where we also have many targeted options, and ctDNA or liquid biopsy can be a really easy way to harness these mutations without having to put the patient through another biopsy as well understanding that the mutation landscape of metastatic breast cancer can change over time and with treatment. So a liquid biopsy is going to give you the most up-to-date snapshot of what the mutational landscape is. Some of the other ways that we can use ctDNA that are more under investigation and of interest would be in treatment monitoring for metastatic breast cancer, particularly in a patient where uh, maybe their tumor markers are not very helpful or aren't elevated or um, you are suspecting progression but not seeing it on your imaging. This could be an interesting way to use circulating tumor DNA. And uh, there's a lot of talk going on right now about using circulating tumor DNA in the primary breast cancer space, mainly for monitoring of minimal residual disease. I think we all agree right now that detection of minimal residual disease using ctDNA is interesting and hypothesis generating. However, at this time, even if we uh, identify positive circulating tumor DNA in the curative setting, we're not sure how to change treatment based on that information. And so although it is important prognostically, until we have proven methods to intervene on a positive ctDNA sample in an adjuvant setting, I don't think it's quite ready for prime time in the clinic yet.